Hey friends, welcome back. Today I will be doing a sort of plan with me video as I am going to break into my two how many two weeks and set them up. Something I love about these planners is that they start on December, even like late November. So I don't have to wait till the new year to start using them. At first, I wasn't planning on getting a Hobonichi Weeks for 2021, but I just could not resist these two covers. I fell in love instantly with both of them. Last time I used a Hobonichi Weeks was for 2019. I used it as my work planner, but I mean, it's a nice planner. I like it, but I, did, I didn't love how it worked for me, um, but I decided to give it a second chance because I just, I just need, to, I, I mean, I fell in love with these two covers. They really, they really spoke to me and I think a very important element for successful planning is to have something that inspires you and these two covers inspire me. So I am giving the Hobonichi Weeks a second try. This one is going to take over my, where is it? My take a note planner. This is how it looks like. Oh, wait, there it is. So this is my take a note planner. I have a review on this one, about this one on my channel. If you want to take a look at it, this is a great planner. I actually loved it because it has like a week at a glance. This is very similar to the Hobonichi Weeks. But then you have uh, your dailies not on not taking like a whole page. You basically have uh, two days per page. This layout I think is wonderful. You also have a timeline and you have like this line dividing the day and this one. So you can really play with this. The monthlies are super minimal, gorgeous. And yeah, it's been a very fun planner and I have been using it for my social media planning. But for that purpose, um, this was like a lot of space <laughs> to fill out. So for the most part of the year, it worked as a notebook. So I thought it would make much more sense to size down. This is not something I want to get rid of. I mean, like a social media planner, it made a lot of sense and it was very useful to have one planner specifically for my social media planner where I can see, um, like write down ideas for videos and track where I'm at in the production process. So I am sizing down in a Hobonichi Weeks. And this one is kind of taking over my Jibun Techo. So, oof, I, don't want to make, I don't want to make this too long. This Jibun Techo was kind of an experiment. I wanted to see what it was like to use it and if I liked it a lot. This is the B6 and I was actually this close to getting the light version because I, I really love it. This is a beautiful, fun... Um, planner it is, inspires me I love it I absolutely love it but then I saw this Chibi Maruko-chan uh, cover and again I could not help myself this was love at first sight this is just adorable I mean this cover the, this beautiful drawing um, really spoke to me really caught my attention I just fell in love with it. I have it inside uh, cover and cover. I'm not a fan of cover and covers for the Hobonichi Weeks because I like actually like the texture. But this one, I feel I, I actually like having it inside the cover. So I saw this sign. I loved it, and I was like, "Yeah, well, first I'll take a look at the cartoon because this is like a very traditional." Uh, children's cartoon and you guys if you're curious about it you can find some ep episodes on YouTube with subtitles it is such a gorgeous cartoon so cute I mean even as an adult I enjoyed uh, taking a look at some of the episodes 
the character, she's adorable, the whole family, the situations, beautiful. I mean, um, if my kid <laughs> understood Japanese, um, I would show it to him, but I guess I would have to wait for him to be able to read the subtitles. So this is where I'm at. And this one is taking over my Jibun Techo. Basically, I track little steps or small moments of pro small moments of progress towards my goals of reading more, continue learning, and finish some specific projects that I have been working on during this year. At first, I didn't have a name for this kind of planning. I was just tracking progress, I guess. Um, it was on and off. And at the bottom, I was tracking my budget. And it was working very well, actually. Uh, the weeks I don't have anything is because not, it's not because I didn't like want to use it. It's because they were very crazy weeks uh, to keep uh, tracking everything. So, yeah. So, I didn't have a name for this kind of uh, planning. But then I read this, it was named uh, Change Journal. It's uh, from Leuchterm. This one, I'm going to do a review about this one, by the way, so stay tuned for that. So this one basically has like 24 methods for self-optimization. And it has some awesome tips and recommendations and things. And in here, let me find it. Okay, here. So it has this chapter about marginal gains. Taking one step at a time. You may even have the impression that each single step doesn't seem to be particularly significant, but that's not important here. After all, you're aiming for something bigger, and that's the key. Aggregation of So this whole idea is about aggregation of marginal gains. So, and the goal is 1% uh, improvement across the board. 1% and no more. So I realized that this is kind of what I was doing here. I was kind of tracking my 1% improvement towards those specific goals. Reading, writing, um, learning more because I like to take courses every week and every month because I think it's important to keep learning. I wanted to keep track of my progress in here and also some specific projects I had. And so this year, this is going to be my 1% journal or my 1% planner. This is where I'm going to keep track of those marginal gains. Uh, those little steps of progress that get me closer to uh, things I want to achieve. Basically, the question that this planner is going to answer is, what did I do today to get a little bit closer to my goals and to get a little bit closer to the person I want to become? I don't pressure myself, as you saw in here, to do it every day, but at the very least, I want to aim for a small step or some little improvement every week. In this video, you're going to join me as I set up these two planners for next year. Well, not just next year, I'm actually start, uh, going to start using them this week because they start this week. As you can see, I laid out with pencil how I want to set them up. I always uh, kind of try out with pencil how I want to use them. I find that taking the moment and the time to do that makes my planning process more efficient. So without anything else to say, let's start. I'm going to begin with my social media planner. I already have my month tab. These are the ones you can find them on any like staples or uh, office depot. And these ones, where is it? Those are the Hobonichi brand tabs. They're sized for the A5 and the A6. They're a little too big for this monthly layout but i'm fine with it i don't mind because i keep moving them actually i had them on my take a note monthly uh, calendar and i just keep uh like i remove it and i move it for the next week and i just keep moving them and basically this shows me at a glance where i'm at where i'm at in my um in my process producing content so 
right now this is the first week that's why it only has post-its because then I move them to the next week and I just mark with pen when I did publish a video so I can see at the end of the month I only have like a view at a glance of the videos I published each month. On the bottom here I'm going to have my goals so By the way, this is the Hobonichi pen that comes with all their planners. I actually love these pens. I use them a lot. Okay. But I don't know why this one is kind of skipping the ink. Okay. So these are my goals with my social media. I don't know why the ink on this one, the newer one, is kind of skipping. So... Has this happened with you? Any of you with the new plan pens? I haven't tried the other ones. I don't know if this is just this pen. So I'm going back to the one I used for this year. Let's go like erase the pencil. And here are some ideas. This is a tumble brush pen so there and there so this is how my monthly is going to look like and then we go to the weeklies and So, um, this is kind of like a very uh, minimalist Kanban board. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with that. Um, planning, I guess. What is it? Style? Well, it's not a style. It's like an efficiency tool. So, um, basically a Kanban board shows you where you are at in a planning process. For example, if I have to do one video, I can see like backlog to do in progress or complete. And basically you start moving like this is a task you move it from one place to the other and you can see very easy where you're at and you're just getting rid of tasks this is how i did it how i did it this past year but i don't like wasting that much paper with the post-its so i am doing it this way i am marking uh, with a box like checking where I'm at in the process until I get to the publish uh, section. So I'm going to then highlight with my tumble. Oh my god, that's horrible. This is not the one. There it is. Okay. Well, okay. Mistakes happen. And this is the goal so this is a very minimal straightforward setup for my and planning for my social media planner now let's go with my one percent planner the monthly i'm not going to do much here's my tab i'm just going to add some of my goals and leave some space for milestones Okay, so here my monthly um, won't look mu like much until the month advances. So here are my basic 
goals. So this, I want to publish at least six videos during the month. That's my minimum goal for this month. We'll see how it goes we, because we're moving to another state and, you know, <laughs> things happen. And I want to finish two books this month also. And this is where I'm going, going to write down my milestones at the end of the month. This space I'm going to use it to mark when I end each book and when I reach one of these milestones and some updates with my goals. So basically it's very minimal and I try to keep goals that are reasonable and realistic. Things that I can actually accomplish this month without being kind of going like too easy on myself. And then we go to the weekly. Here I have the Chibi Maruko-chan um, pencil board. I, I mean, isn't this just beautiful? So cute. This is very different from the other pencil boards because this is kind of like a, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, you can see the reflection of my lamp. So this is kind of like a very uh, shiny surface, kind of like a hologram. And it has Chibi Maruko. I mean, this is kind of like very dreamlike, very inspiring. inspiring. I think, uh, I don't know, I just love it, really love it. And I, it makes me happy to look at it, how creative and beautiful and kind of whimsical this is. This is how my wigs are going to look in here. I kind of went over everything with pen, with pencil to see how it might work because I actually did erase a lot uh, to find a way that works for me here. So let's see. Okay, so here it's also very straightforward. These uh, these are the books I'm reading. Uh, the, uh, I'm reading at the moment. These are the courses I am taking at the moment. These are my uh, my goals as a mother. You know, with everything changing, with lockdown, um, somehow it has been even harder to keep a steady routine. Um, working from home, trying to keep everything in order. Um, so. I try to keep at least two habits uh, steady or constant, no matter how tired I am or what happens. These are the two habits I want to keep in the morning and at night, so I can give my son some structure that and, and something that won't change, no matter how crazy things get. These are the th two things I try to keep constant. So these are two reminders of the things I want to keep constant um, in his uh, morning and night routine. This is the audiobook I'm co currently listen listening to. Basically what I do each day, I write, for example, if on Monday I'm on page 5 and then on Tuesday I'm on page 10, I mean, that shows some progress. So also on here on Monday, I would write down that I did uh, shoot this video. That's progress. Um, I didn't continue with my courses today, but I am going to do it tomorrow and I would write down where I'm at. And, think, and I also am going to mark like these two uh, habits I want to keep when like check mark uh, that I did them. Also my progress with my other book where I'm at in the like the minute. And yeah, this is very straightforward. Like I said, uh, these are marginal games, like a 1%, little steps every day. And I try to keep uh, like a record of, of my progress and track them because it has been very useful. I liked he seeing it in here. Um, it's fun. It makes me feel good about myself. So for example, if I have a very crazy week uh, that doesn't allow me to do much of anything, just like very little things, I can look back and see where I left off and see, okay, this is the page I'm at, this is where I'm at with this project, this is where I'm at in this course, so I can just continue with that progress, uh, knowing what, where I left off. And lastly, the back pages in this one, I'm going to use them for video ideas and jot down notes. Here, 
Oh, I'm still deciding how I'm going to use these back pages, blank pages, and if I use them at all. I probably will, like, have a list of all the books I, re I read during the year, the books I want to read, things like that. I'm still deciding because, I mean, there's a lot of pages in here. Um, but yeah, I don't pressure myself. I do whatever I can each day, and that's that matters. That's something that gets me closer to my personal goals. And I am very happy and excited to start using these two planners. I hope this video was useful for you. Um, do you have something like this? I would like to know what's your system or your process with um, like specialty planners. Let's call them like that. Um, it's not your, like your actual planning process, but like a side planning process. I'm curious about what you do. Um, I hope this video was useful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you. If you like this video, it will be awesome if you, give it a thumb, uh, if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.